We continued to create games together with ChatGPT, choosing the latest model, GPT-4. Next up is Flappy Bird. Remember how we all used to play it for hours and try to beat each other's record? ChatGPT gave us the steps to recreate this game with our own hands. Let's move on to step one. Open Unity and create a new 2D project. Call it Flappy Bird Chat GPT and let's start. A project has appeared. Add the background and its objects, including the ground. We will place them on the entire map of the game. Step 2. Setting up the bird. Let's place the bird figurine on the game map, change its size and position, and add its body Smoke mass. Weed every day. Let's move on to step 3. Writing the bird script. Create a script in our project and insert the proposed ChatGPT code into it. Call this script Bird Controller. Let's check what happened. As you can see, now the bird can be controlled, but its movements lack realism. I ask ChatGPT to add realism to the bird jump physics. Let's paste the corrected code for movement and see what happens. Now she moves forward and moves more realistically. Steps 4 and five. Setting up and spawning the pipes. Add a pipes object to the project, set its size and location. Then we will create a pipe spawner script and set the necessary settings. Now ask the camera follow script. Let's create it and paste the suggested code. The camera follows the character and now we can see what will happen next in the game. Step 6. We need a score in the game. ChatGPT wrote us an interesting code. Create score manager script. Let's add two columns with text. One will contain the current score of the game and the other, the record we set. Look at the end result. High score now remains in the game's memory. When a bird falls to the ground or collides with a pipe, the game restarts. Finally, we can say that the game is ready for use.